Hi, this is Christoph Oschon from Noble Master Games. I'm gonna give a short introduction on how to do campaign modding in Retro Commander. Um, there's an official campaign that we created. That's the saga around Agent Johnson. And you're probably wondering if you could do uh, your own custom campaign. And yes, that's possible with the in-game editor. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with a simple example. So I already prepared the map. Actually, it's just a map from our chapter 01. And I'll show you how to make us um, from the scenarios that we created for the game, how we, you can create your own campaign based on it. So the first step is obviously, as you maybe saw in the other modding missions, uh, modding tutorials, how to create your own um, scenarios. You set up uh, maybe some um, a battle scenario or you set up like a mission search mission or whatever you like and here I have like mission one and two and now how would you do the campaign so first you go into edit and then there's a sub menu uh, campaign and to make a campaign out of it after out of the map you just select it and enable it and now you see here you have a new item come up here you can configure the campaign. Let's go in there. So first, same with the scenarios. We just uh, give a name, even the title, um, maybe chapter, chapter one, zero one. Um, let's say Arthur's. Arthur's mission, uh, Arthur's story, and they give a description. This is the story, story of blah blah blah. And here for the campaign, you also need an icon. You need it it to be in eighty times sixty pixels. Uh, let me find one. I prepared one already, or actually, it's the one I use already for the campaign. But you just create your own icon. Yeah, so we have the icon for the campaign, the story and title. That's step one. And then here, we're gonna use those two missions. I think you can leave them enabled playable, but if you just want them to be available via campaign, you dis disable the playable option here. So that way, when somebody wants to play the campaign mission, they only can uh, play to the campaign. But I mean, that's up to you. You can leave it enabled if you want the players to play it otherwise also. But sometimes those missions are specifically designed for the campaign, so it doesn't always make sense to keep them playable otherwise. Okay, back to the campaign. So now to say which missions belong to the campaign, or oh wait, before we go there, we can also define the settings. So that's the same that we entered before. And then the name of the protagonist, maybe Arthur. And we need an icon for the hero too, or the, for the player. Also, let me use what I created before. Oh, let me find it. That's not it. The retro commander. And then I have the hero image. That's the protagonist. I mean, here that's still... Um, agent johnson that we used for our campaign but you can create anything else and then here if you have plans to create more than one store one map you could also give it a title a series title for example arthur's saga or so and so you can create several maps and then link them later let me save it and Maybe before I forget. So yes, if you have several maps, you want to do several maps, so campaign missions over several maps, you can go here into campaign and you can define a series. And here you can select a prequel, like the previous mission. It has to be one of the maps that also has a campaign that you have installed. I mean, because this is chapter one, we don't have a prequel, but we can select the sequel, the next mission. So when somebody finishes the campaign, the player gets the option to download the next uh, mission in the, uh, the, like, the next chapter in your campaign. 
So that would be here for us, would be chapter two. But that's here, this part here is optional. Also to select the campaigns that need to be downloaded beforehand. So you have to have it published before you can select it here. Okay, so we have defined this uh, campaign, the name and the series, if you want to have one. And the next we define the missions. So here I have two missions. That would be, for example, scenario mission one. And then you have to select which faction you play. That's um, the protagonist should probably be in that faction. I mean, you don't need a protagonist. I mean, I could say mission zero one. I think the title doesn't matter, I believe. And then I add another mission, the autumn campaign mission. We also play as unaligned forces and we call it M02. And uh, yes, so now the missions are defined for the campaign, but there's some stuff missing. When you create a campaign, you also need to create comics. Like uh, these comics, you can edit them here. I think I have the animator in the editor here. In order to do that, you need to create a comic slide. It can be static, but usually we have it animated. That would be, for example, let me open one. That would be probably some comic like this. So it's an animation and you can have <clears throat> uh, balloons that uh, describe some talking points. And then you would save them as um, the work file is the channel, like the file that you edit, but then to integrate it or load it into the game, as a cartoon, you would export it as a toon file. And that's a toon file then that you add as comic slides in the campaign. I already did that. I'm not going to go into details. There's also like information about how to use the editor. It's the Noble 2D FX. And so for mission one, we have a comic that is shown before. Then we have a, like talking, talking heads at the beginning and at the end of the mission and we have a fail condition where we have a talking head or like a static head when the mission fails and we have a comic that is shown after the mission that's for this mission zero one and we have to do the same for mission one and uh, mission two so let me set that select some comic slides let me see comic slides for the begin that's here you select the tune file Let me select another comic slide, not only for demo. I mean, this is only a demo. So that's before the mission starts, we see the, these two comic slides. Then when the mission ends after, we select also a comic slide to show. Let's say comic slide here. Then when you go to mission two, we also have to show a comic slide at the beginning and the end. For here, if you have a beginning slides, the end slides for mission one defined, you don't always have to define slides too, because um, the, between the missions, the slides between the missions are all um, combined. So it, here, for example, we don't need to be mission slide for the begin because we already have a mission slide for the end defined here. So we can leave this part empty. But we have to give, because it's the last mission on for our two mission campaign, we have to add another slide at the end. Let me save it one more time. And then for each campaign mission, at the beginning you have some talking heads. You can define talking heads. Maybe Agent Johnson is talking to myself. For example, there am I. Or that would be, in your case, maybe Arthur you would have to predefine the figurehead for Arthur. So that's at the beginning of the mission. And then uh, at the end of the mission, you define talking points too. Maybe Agent Johnson talks with Major Tom. How are you doing? Or who are you? And 
and then you add another talking point Agent Johnson with Major Tom and he's like I'm Major Tom yeah no this is pretty basic and then here we have the failed condition when the mission fails the mission has failed you can just leave the default it's uh, just some shadow character and actually here was still in mission one let's do it again maybe agent johnson talks with um fluffy how are you doggy and then of of the end of the mission one we have um agent johnson talks about fluffy again and fluffy says wow yeah no this is not um <clears throat> not um very exciting of course but um okay so let's see so you save it and then you can verify the map and you can play the campaign the same way that you will play the missions you select the play button here but when you select the campaign now the comic and everything plays so now i have the comic campaign selected with all the comic slides with all the talking points which was of course very short so you see the map as set as the comic slide then this slide and we start the mission and here how are you doggy i uh, know that's the heads we just entered and to test it what you can do is we just say force win that's only available in the editor and you force win the mission and then you see the talking points at the end of the mission and the fluffy says wow then we go back to the campaign comic slides the one that i added there and then here again agent johnson talking we configure that we make force win again and then who are you he asked major tom and the major tom and that's basically it you exit and that's the end of the campaign so you can pretty quickly test if the campaign works by just uh, selecting force win and yeah that's basically it <clears throat> that's how you define mission campaign missions for you for the game if that's your thing but yeah, I think the hard part is not maybe the scenarios, but I think the hard part is to the to create the the comic slides for for the campaign missions. But they can be static. I mean, you can just like have hand drawn images. If you go back here, you can also access the editor here. You can just uh, have some hand drawn images in there, like it's eight hundred. Let me see. The image size has to be 800 times 480 pixels that's given and you just copy your own hand drawn images in here via copy paste and then add maybe some balloons if you like or have the balloon in there already and yes that's it um, thank you for watching